Good evening everybody and welcome back to Live From The Works and to Streaming Wednesdays, now at the new time of 8pm. I'm, I'm slightly late, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I had some technology difficulties. Um, I was here, ready to start, 10 to 8, and the, the technology was messing me around. Ah, so we know that the system works, it's just the technology that doesn't work. Who have we got in the chat room? Jean is here. Hello, Jean. Uh, Giratina is here. Hello to you too. Um, I can see there's seven people watching. Gosh, that must be some kind of record. Um, yeah, um, if you're watching, do, give us a wave. Say hello, whatever. You know, we, 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 if you're a newbie, say hello. We, we're, we're very friendly here. Um, yeah, so yeah, lo lovely to see you all. It's, it's great to be here. Um, how, how are we all doing? Let me, let me know how you're doing. Um, I'm doing... Okay, work is a bit stressful at the moment. Um, we are currently working on PDNS, which is the Priority Date Notification Statement, which is basically the kind of umbrella term for planning the next timetable. And the timetable we're working on at the moment is December 2024. Um, and there's a big uh, kind of recast going on on the East Coast Main Line and various other big changes taking place. Um, and it, it's a lot of work, there's a lot of changes happening, and yeah, 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 it's it's all very complicated and stressful, and yeah, so that's that's playing heavily on my mind at work at the moment, that's, that's kind of the big thing at the moment. Um, I exist, says the DTS workshops, I, I, is that a good thing? I, I, I think that's a good thing, um, I'm glad you exist. Uh, Jackson Ramsey says, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Jack. How are you? Um, yeah. So, yeah, East Coast Mainline recast. Big, ugh, heavy thing that's going on at Network Rail at the moment. But, yes, all good. All good, all good, all good. Everything's going to be fine. Um, yes. Yes, um, the new start time of 8 o'clock um, seems to work well. I was less stressed getting down here, and like I say, I was down here on time. It's just technology let me down. Uh, but, yes, 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 yes. Anyway, right, what are we doing this evening? Well, at the weekend, uh, I meant, went, meant, 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 uh, let's try that again. I went to a model railway show, uh, and the model railway show in question was the London Festival of Railway Modelling at Alexandra Palace. Uh, I was bullied in, I say bullied, I, I was, um, I was g gently encouraged by my friend Lawrence, um, to, uh, sign up and be a steward, um. When I, when I say gently encouraged, he asked for volunteers and I thought, eh, I'll give it a go. Um, I had a really good day. Um, I didn't see as many layouts as I would have liked because I, I did not plan my time efficiently at all. Um, but it, it was nice to uh, have a little look around, looked, looked around some stalls. Um, and I promised myself uh, when I went down that I was just going to look, I was going to do the stewarding and I'd be so busy that I wouldn't buy anything. So with that in mind, here are all the things I bought at Alexandra Palace over the weekend. <laughs> uh, technically, that's that's a lie. Um, these were not bought at Alexandra Palace. The, these were bought uh, separately. We'll, we'll get we'll get to those later. Um, so the, these are the things I purchased. Um, we have got uh, first of all uh, a Hornby W4 Peckett. Uh, named Bear, which is just a very pretty little loco. Um, I'm go I'm gonna have to do some googling at this point because uh, I know um, uh, the name of this loco, uh, but very little else about it, uh, other than it is called Hardwick. It is a loco that was built by the London North Western Railway Company. Uh, it is a precedent class loco, number seven ninety, uh, built at Crewe in 1887 and it is currently preserved as part of the national collection and is stored i believe at york uh, at the moment uh, which is good so yeah uh, it's not nice to have a london northwestern railway loco in in the collection uh, it's a shame it's not wasn't built at wolverton admittedly but because uh, the wolverton did build locos uh, but they didn't build this one this one was built at crew 
So, yeah, you, you can't have everything. It's all good. But anyway, that's Hardwick. And we've also got uh, this, which is a Conflat wagon. Uh, it's got a rather fetching design on it. Um, it's the uh, Model Railway Club. It's in the definite article, like the Doctor. Um, it's uh, got the Model Railway Club logo and their uh, address at... Uh, for, oh, hold on a minute. Uh, number four, Calshot Street uh, in London. Um, this was free because I got it as a free gift for signing up. <laughs> For the club at the show yes i'm now a member of the model railway club um so that's that's quite exciting um it was 21 pounds to join uh the conflat cost 24 so i saved some money and i'm now a member of the club so i can go to all their social events so that's quite nice um we'll look at this first um it's it's bog standard br conflat wagon with a, with a rather nice design uh the design by the way was done by my friend uh derry from biggest little railway in the world um, I rather like this. It's it's an exclusive model that was produced by Dapol. I think it looks quite nice. I was rather taken with it. So I asked my friend Lawrence about buying one. He said, well, you can buy it or you can uh, pay the £21 and become a member of the club and we'll give it you as a free joining gift. I went, OK, you twisted me arm. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I just own a wagon now. Cool. Done. Conflat wagon. Nice. We'll put that on the track in a minute. Oh. It was not happy about that idea. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put the con flat wagon to one side. We'll we'll uh, we'll come back to that later. Anyway, uh, you can do entirely what you can do what you want with your money. It's entirely up to you. Indeed, yes. But I am I'm feeling extremely poor now. Fortunately, because of the way the railway pay scheme works, and I get thirteen payments a year as opposed to twelve, um, I am um, I'm essentially getting a free month of wages. Uh, this month so I'm, I'm going to put lots of money in savings so yeah I, w I will not feel poor anymore so yes anyway that's quite exciting and um yes anyway let's uh let's look at some locos uh this is the hornby Peckett. uh as i say this is called bear i'm just just going to move the microphone over a bit and turn the volume up so you can still hear me um I'm not going to lie, I bought this because it was cute. I I love this. It's it's a cute little tank engine. It's an 040, really tiny. It's got some nice detailing on it. Now if we have a little look in the cab here, you can see the cab detailing is quite nice. It's, very, it's quite a basic little loco. Uh, the, the packets were basically designed to be little industrial shunters. Um, and this is so cute. I love it. Um... I bought this because I was looking around on second-hand stalls um, and I saw this and I liked it. I thought it was cute. I've seen packets around the shows before, but I've not put my hand in my pocket because I've, I've never seen one I really like. But it's blue and it's called Bear. And I just thought to myself, right, I've, I, I was about to whiz off and go uh, relieve someone on the, uh, on the stewarding side of things. So I sat there and looked at it for a bit and then I thought to myself, right, I'm going to go do my next stint of stewarding and I'm going to come back and if it's still here I'm going to take that as a sign from the universe that I need to buy this and it was still there so I bought it um r rather not very encouragingly um when I went back to the stall uh, I was in a queue behind a bloke who was picking something up he'd ordered online um and he said that looks like a packet I went yes it is a packet he said, oh, that's a lovely model. And it's great now they've sorted out the motion on it. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hornby up to their usual nonsense. But no. Um, I tested Bear on the Model Railway Club's test layout at the show. Um, and she ran rather nicely. I was I was quite impressed. A um, li little bit of a false start. But uh, Lawrence reckoned that's because the track was dirty. So... Yeah, she ran reasonably well. I'll be interested to see how she copes on my little circuit on the floor. Speaking of which, I just need to pop the other camera down. So bear with me a second while I do that. Let me just hook up the camera. Here it goes. Not live. Okay, that's not terribly helpful, actually. I've got to be honest. One moment. Do, 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 do. You're all very quiet. Talk to me. What's what's going on with your lives? 
I want I want to know I want to know what's happening in, with you. There we go. Right. So we're down there. It's, uh, light on or light off? Light light off. I think. Yeah. Not not strictly necessary just now. Right. One second. I'm just gonna fiddle with the settings in here. Turn the brightness up. streaming thank you right and there we go done right amazing right okay so if I now switch from the close-up camera to the other close-up camera how does that look oh that looks that that looks dreadful absolutely dreadful um, <laughs> hang on, right, let's let's take the loco over and we'll fiddle with the settings while we're there. Right, so we're going to pop the conflat wagon down first. There she is. There we are. Um, I've, I've put some other container wagons down uh, as well, just because uh, I thought they were appropriate. And then let's just move everything back a bit. And pop down the loco. There she goes. Right. Couple you up. There we are. Right. Just uh, go in here and uh, just tweak the brightness a bit because I think it's a bit much. That looks better. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. Uh, light on or light off? Light off. I think. I think that's yeah. Yeah. Light. Light off. Light off. Final answer. Here we go. So, yeah, there is the packet. Uh, let's uh, give it some power. Oh, okay. Not a good start. Some gentle encouragement may be required. Here we go. There we go. Let's see. Oh, if it needs a little bit more power. There we go. How about now? Okay. Come on. That's better. There we are. Right. There she goes. Running quite nicely once you got going. Oh, hang on. No. Giving up again. I think the problem is very small wheels, so the contacts are quite small. So, the slightest bit of grime on the track, it doesn't like it. The whip. The, um, the gauge on the wheels feels a bit off as well. There's a lot of sort of back and forth on it. There we go. Hold on. Come on. Do, 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 do. Come on. There we are. Needs a little bit of warming up, I think, as much as anything. Where's the track rubber gone? Give the problem areas a bit of a clean, and just make sure everything's working as far as it as far as possible. There we are. That seems a bit happier now. There we go. Much better. It's just. Uh, Turn the power down ever so slightly, because that that feels a bit quick for such a little engine. That's almost Smoky Joe level of ridiculous speed. That is. There we go. That's a bit better. There we go. So we've got the model railway com flat wagon there. There's a Triang trains container. A Great Western Railway removals van. A Weetabix van, uh, and then a Taylor Valentine and Taylor Wines and Spirits wagon, and of course the Tipfield brake van on the back. Nice, nice little ensemble there. I think. I think that's very nice. Oh, oh no, we've stopped again. Old oh, on problems. Here we go. Come on. There we are. You are a very unhappy little engine today. Deary me. There we are. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. That's it. It's happier now. 
Turn the enhanced lighting off. Turn auto framing off. There we go. Nice. Okay. There we go. That seems a little bit happier now. Nice. Okay. What's happening in the chat room? Matthew, what do you think about the time Doctor Who's going to be on? Um... <sighs> I don't have a problem with the midnight release. I think that's the the kind of default for these things now. My main problem really is that I know people are going to go on Twitter and talk about it and watch it. And I'm a parent now, you know. I I ain't got time or the energy to stay up to midnight to watch it. I mean, I'm totally going to stay up till midnight to watch it, but that's not the point. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, I I know. It's I I think it's just how things are gonna happen from now on, and you know I think as as a collective, I think it's it's the kind of thing we just need to get used to because I think that this is how things are gonna be from now on, um, and I think this is part of the uh, deal with the devil. Sorry, deal with the mouse of Disney. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this is just how things are going to be. Uh, Jack says, I'm going on a quest to see second-hand G-Scale track tomorrow. Oh, nice. Oh, well, let, let us know how you get on. That sounds exciting. Yeah. A nice little, nice, little, nice little runner now, actually. Now she's uh, warmed up a bit there. Very nice. You you are so precious. You, 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 you are a precious little flower of a loco. So diddy. I love it. Right, anyway. We're going to turn the phone cam off now. I'm going to, we're going to go back to the sort of main close-up camera. Because we're going to have a look now at... Bring the microphone back over here. Turn the volume up again. We're going to have a look at Hardwick. Uh, number 790. Um... This is a lovely model. This is made by Locomotion Models. These are the people uh, who are involved with the National Collection at the National Railway Museum. BA! Hang on. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> no. Come on, behave yourself. There we are. Right. Sorry. Anyway, um, yes. So this this is a really nicely detailed model. If we turn the logo around, so you can have a little look at the cab interior. It's nicely detailed. Um, it's be beautiful model. It comes with sort of extra detailing parts. So it's got like um, printed, uh, sorry, engraved uh, name plates and number plate, which I haven't glued on because uh, I've not been brave enough. I don't want to ruin my model. I might I might try it another time. Um, and it also comes with a spare pair of driving wheels that doesn't have tyres on. Um, the, this does have tyres on. So that is uh, a nice little touch. Um, yeah, lots of nice detailed bits. And if we pick up just here and you have a little look in between the frames there, you can actually see the motion. The motion doesn't work, unfortunately. It is a solid uh, piece, but it's, it's, it's nice that they've gone to the extra detail that you can see that. Yeah, it's a lovely model. I've ordered a crew for both of these locos, by the way, because because they've got sort of semi-open cabs. I thought they, they just don't look right going around with nothing on the footplate. So, yes, I have ordered a crew to go on the loco. Again, this one I have already tested on the Model Railway Club test track, and it ran really nicely. It's a beautiful model. Really nice quality. I like it a lot. Um, and if I just grab my LNWR coal tank, uh, just so we can compare them. Bear's just started moving on her own now. Um, you can see there are some similarities because like all railway companies, the London North Western Railway Company basically had a load of stock parts um, and built various <laughs> variations on it. So if you look uh, at the front of the loco, if I turn them both round, uh, yes, this has a slightly shinier paint job with the with the beautiful red lining and everything, but the front end of the loco, 
um, is pretty much identical. Uh, they it is very much identifiable as a London Northwestern Railway loco in both circumstances. And if we look on the side there, you can see the number plates pretty much exactly the same. And again, yeah, they're basically identical. The chimneys are the same, domes are the same. Um, they've got the same whistle configuration. I think there's a whistle there and a safety valve as well. I'm not sure what order these things are. Oh, that might be the safety valve actually. But yeah, you can see these sh have a shared ancestry. Um, and they are both very beautiful locos. Um, it's nice to have a couple of them. Um, especially since it's my local railway company. Um, being as they operated the London to Birmingham Railway. It is a gorgeous model. I, I am very happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. Um, I'm just having a little look at the coal tank. And I think actually there is, if you look just inside the frame there, there has been an attempt to model the motion in there. Um, it's not quite as detailed as Hardwick's, but um, yeah, you can tell they, they basically share a common ancestry as locos go they they are cracking and hardwick is very beautiful and i love her very much she's so pretty i've be, i've been tempted to buy hardwick at a number of shows over the last couple of years uh, and i i gave in on this occasion i just yeah it's so pretty <laughs> it's got the lovely white cab roof i don't know much about the history of the loco but i assume it probably had royal duties at some point, hence the white cab roof. Um, that that is how they denoted uh, white uh, royal royal locomotives. They painted the cab roofs white. So yeah, yeah, some, something a little extra special there. Hello, Tyjan Dean. Hello, Super Duper Monkey Ball. Banana Bass. Crazy Roll. Uh, it's nice to see you both. Anyway, right. So we'll pop the cold tank away. Because uh, as pretty as she is, she is not the subject of this evening. So we're going to pop her away. Good night for now. We'll get you out to play another time. Um, yes, and we'll bring Hardwick back into the centre. The, the, the finish on this is glorious. It's beautifully shiny and, yeah, just oh so pretty. I love it. I love it so, so much. Right, let's... Encourage Bear back round to the other side. We'll just flick the phone camera off or on rather. There we are. We're just we're just gonna park Bear for a minute. There we are. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the wagons away, and then we will come back and have a little look at these carriages. Just bear with me a second while I do that. Do 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 do. That's come flat. There we go. And tip for the wagons. Away you go. That's it. Nice. Now we just got various hornby container wagons here. Just a lovely little collection of bits and bobs this. Uh, there we go. Right. Get in there like that. There we are. Cracking. Right. Back we come. Over to here. So we've got our lovely loco there. Um we need some sort of period appropriate carriages for it. Oh look, um, this is, yeah, we're going to pop Hardwick to one side for a minute, because we'll, we will come back to you later. Um, and we're going to take a look at these. Now, these are completely inappropriate, actually, for a London Northwestern Railway loco, but we are going to make do with what we've got. Because what we've got are these really rather nice... Hornby Great Northern Railway six-wheelers. Sorry, four-wheelers, I should say. They do do a six-wheel version. I might get a couple just to extend the rake a bit, but the, these will do for now, uh, you know, when, when, when I'm cash-rich again and not, not broke. Um, 
these models are actually really nice. Um, they're the nicest Hornby thing I've bought in absolutely ages. I've kind of given up hope for Hornby um, because they are very much sort of a budget range these days. But these are quite nice. Um, and I think that is because they are basically a carbon copy of the Hatton's Genesis coaches um, that look very, very similar, I have to say. Um, but... Uh, they, they are quite nice models in their own right. They've got some nice detailing on them. Uh, the footboards you can see there are separately fitted. So they come in a little packet, you have to fit those yourself. Um, the interiors look quite nice. You can see here there's, there's kind of a nice royal blue interior on the first class coach here. And if we look at the back, in fact if I bring one of those a bit closer to the camera, you can see that's got a lovely, not quite so plush, but still nice uh, maroon colour. Um, some nice detailing on the carriages themselves uh, if I just rotate that around in fact I'm going to turn the light on the webcam off for this so we can have a proper look and you can see there is some great northern railway lettering come on fo focus come on come on fella that's it am I going to have to do this manually yes I am hold on one second bear with uh, let's go to video input Oh, oh no, there we are. It's behaved itself. Right. You can see there, there's some nice Great Northern Railway lettering and a Great Northern logo, third class. Some nice little detailing on the door handles there. Um, it's, it's just a really nice little model, this. I, I am e exceptionally pleased with it. Um, and then if we have a look at, little look at this one, um, the carriages have sort of the open windows at the end uh, for the guard. And if we bring this a bit closer... And the camera will maybe wants to behave any time now. Anyway, there we go. Right, and as you can see there, there's a guard luggage compartment. Um, I think I can see a brake. Is that a brake handle? Hold on. Hang on one second. I'm going to have to have a closer look. Can't actually see. I think there is a brake handle in there, but I'm not. Yes, yes, there is. I can see it. Um, so there you go. Um, nice little detailing. Um, there is the nice little addition of the brake pipes on the end here. Um, there's a nice coupling hook there as well. Um, yeah, they're just really nice carriages, these. Um, and they, while they're not prototypical for something like Hardwick, they go really nicely with the N2, which is a, a Great Northern Railway loco. And they look really nice with some of my other period stuff. So I've had the C-Class out to play. I've had Lion out to play with them. Um, they just look right. Um, I mean, not, again, completely non-prototypical. You would never see these being pulled by a London Northwestern Railway or a Liverpool and Manchester Railway loco. Um, they're different periods. They're different companies. But the key thing is they look the part. These look sort of very Victorian, Edwardian. Um, so th they look a little bit nicer with the more uh, Victorian, Edwardian locos than a Raker Mark 1s does, for example. Um, but yes, I like it. Um, right, let's pop these on the track and have a play. Uh, because they're lovely. And I want to see them running again. Right, let's pop back to the phone camera. And we'll start with these two. First, there we go. There we are. Roll that out of the way. And get our next three. Here we go. Nice. There we are. These are all separately numbered, by the way. Um, so we'll we'll talk through the uh, setup as we go. Right. So first up, we have got uh, this brake coach, which is number, I cannot read that. Uh, I am blind to the back. Okay, we're not gonna do the numbers. Uh, we've got a full brake coach here. We've got a first class coach. We've got two individually numbered uh, third class coaches. And we've got a third class brake coach at the end of the brake here. Um, and I, I like it in this formation with the full brake at the front. Um, I just think that looks nice. And if we grab Hardwick now, which the only criticism I have is it has a very fiddly coupling to the tender. So it does like the 
pop out as, as, as we're doing things right. Here we go. Pop that on the track. Okay, like I say, this is completely non-prototypical, but it looks right. So, let's roll. Oh, and that motor is beautifully quiet as well. That is lovely. Oh, hang on. We've, we've come uncoupled. Hang on. There we go. That's better. I fixed it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We've lost it again. Hold on. Come back. Come back. There we go. <laughs> Ah, right, what would you say is the best Hornby or Hornby-like train set for someone starting out? Um, oh, that is a really, it depends sort of what you like. Um, if you want, say, a branch line set, uh, Bachman do a really nice pannier tank and some uh, wagons, which, which is a nice set. It comes with some track. Um, that's quite nice. Um, Hornby do a couple of sets that are quite nice. If you want something more, more modern, I think there's a set that has like a little diesel shunter instead of a, uh, you know, uh, or you could, uh, if you're buying for someone a bit younger, you might buy something like the Christmas train set, uh, or dare I mention it, the Coca-Cola train set, which is just a horrible cash grab. Um, yeah, it's, uh, there's, there's lots of different options out there. Uh, they all have their merits. Um, but I would say, yeah, get get the starter set that's got a decent uh, looper track. And if you can, maybe spend the additional money. And um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Yeah, may maybe spend a little bit of additional money and uh, buy a decent controller like Gauge Master or something rather than uh, getting the starter controller because they... they a gauge master will suit you really well. I've got a gauge master in my parents' garage, and that has served me well for the best part of two decades. So, yeah. Um, I, I, I quite like my Backman Easy controllers, uh, because they're, they're nice and basic, um, and they work quite well. But, um, yeah, get gauge master is the way to go. Because they're, they're really reliable. Um, and they have a really good warranty policy. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, def definitely, you know, spend the extra cash and get a decent controller. Don't don't get a sort of stock one that comes with the starter kit. That would be my advice. Jack spent his money on traction engine instead of saving up. Did you go for a Mammoth or a Willis Co or something else entirely? God, that low coat looks good. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, you're so pretty. Hello there. Yeah, it looks nice with those carriages. I gotta say, I, I I love the combination of a sort of Victorian Edwardian loco and some nice teak carriages. It just looks good. I'm basically building the Bluebell Railway, aren't I? Yeah. Oh well, I'm okay with that. I've got a couple more locos on pre-order. Um, I've got three on pre-order for double O gauge. I've got one engage loco. I've got an Ivet two MT tank engine on pre-order and in, in, engage um, but I've also got on pre-order Rapido's uh, Metropolitan Railway number one that's going to be coming out end of this year I believe uh, I've got an Acura scale P1 Bluebell coming and I've also ordered uh, a Rapido o, o class uh, loco, which is a bit like the C class. Uh, it's made by made by the uh, Southeastern and Chatham Railway, um, but slightly different setup and configuration. They they look basically identical at a glance, but there there are some subtle differences. Um, I was tempted to go for the Southeastern and Chat Chatham Railway green because it's a stunning livery, but then I thought I've already got the C class in that livery, and then Rapido announced they're doing a kind of fictional livery like the uh, P class uh, loco bluebell which it which is that has that lovely kind of uh, bluebell railway livery it's named bluebell and it's got the bluebell railway crest on it and it looks lovely and I I really liked that idea so I've uh, I, I looked at that 
and I pre-ordered that. And then Rapido are doing a what if livery that they showed off as like a rejected livery, and then so many people liked it that they're they're actually producing it. Um, it is the Bluebell Railway Blue, and the loco is named Bramble. And I was thinking, yeah, I yeah, I I I have to have this. Bramble is a cute name. I love it. So, <laughs> yeah, I've, I have two. I have a Bluebell Railway engine and a fictional Bluebell Railway engine on pre-order now. <laughs> I need to stop buying steam engines. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I, th I think those three will sate my appetite at least for a good long while. But yes. Um... Let's see. Uh, Jack says, I went for Willis Co because it's radio controlled. It's a rarity. Oh, cracking. I like that. I, I've never thought about radio controlled traction engines before. That sounds great, actually. Nice. Good job. Um, Tyson says, I particularly like classic steam engines. I'm not a fan of model diesel or bullet trains. I'm surprised there hasn't been a City of Truro engine for this gauge. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go, uh, consult Dr. Google on this one because I am... Um, reasonably sure there has been a double O gauge city of Truro model. I'm going to have to look that up now. One second. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Yep, Batman made one. Uh, Batman branch line. Um, let's see. Uh, Batman Branch Line, City of Truro. Um, yep, they definitely exist. Uh, they they were being sold a number of years ago. I don't know if they've still if there's any around anymore, but they definitely exist. In fact, there's one on eBay. Oh, there was one on eBay. It's it's gone now. Um, on a minute. Uh, Batman Branch Line, City of Truro. Let's do a search. Um, they're not cheap. I will say that um, there is. Here we go. Uh, these are all static models. Uh, let's see. They're a bit of a rarity, but they are out there. They do exist. It looks like. Ah, here we are. Uh, you can buy a kit model as well. Um, there's a. There is a kit built model at the moment on eBay, which has a starting bid of fifty pounds, and it's quite nice. It's been done quite nicely. Um, but yeah, if you don't if you don't fancy a kit model, they do, uh, they do exist, uh, made by Backman, um, but they're not available anywhere. So you just just have to keep an eye on eBay. So yes, they do exist, absolutely. <laughs> there we are then. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like the classic Hornby DC controller. Says Jack. I I like the the classic one. I think the new one they do. It's, it's just a not not very heavy duty. It's just, it's yeah. It's, it's just a bit naff. Uh, buying steam engines is nothing. I've just bought an Edison phonograph from a 1901. Now I'm knee deep in cylinder based eBay searches. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I approve. Uh, is it electric? Yes, yes, it is electric. Uh, yeah, double O gauge. Um, yeah, look it up. They, I'm I'm sure one will crop up on eBay at some point, but they're not cheap. I think. The listing I saw that has been finished for quite some time, it went for about 200 odd pounds. Um, so yeah, they, they they do exist, the City of Truro models, but um, yeah, not cheap, unfortunately. But yes, it's very exciting, isn't it? Brilliant. I'm in love with Hardwick. Hardwick is very pretty. <laughs> oh, man. That is so cute. I'm in love. <laughs> mm. Happy days. I am a very happy bunny. <laughs> Model trains. Gotta love them. God, that just looks good, doesn't it? I love it so much. Oh, you are gorgeous. Right. Hmm. Not really sure what else to do with the show now. This this has taken up um, forty minutes. Um, 
<laughs> I'm not sure what to do with my time now. Um, we can carry on with the map, couldn't we? Yeah, that, that might be a way to go. Hang on, let's... Um... Oh. Ah, oh no. Oh, oh dear. Um, I've... I may have just dragged um, X-Split off of the screen. Uh, hold on. One second. Got to try and remember how to retrieve it. No! Oh no. That's, that's, that's extremely annoying. Um, uh, hold on a minute. Um, I need to look up the shortcut for this. Hold on. Retrieve window. Off screen. Here we go. Um... Uh, right click the taskbar and select one of the window arrangements any like cascade or show windows stacked. Hold on. Uh, uh, show windows stacked. There we are. Nope, that did not work. Okay, fine. Um, uh, Alt tab to the window and then windows key left and right. Oh, there. There we go. That's got it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Right, never mind. Oh, I now can't. Annoyingly. Ah, there we, there we go. We got there in the end. <laughs> right, I'm just going to chuck you up on the top there and open up Wonder Draft again. Um, there have been some changes to the map since we did this last. Um, so let me let me just get the map open and we'll, we'll take a look at it. And I'll show you what I've changed. There we go. That model really is special. I'm I'm going to stop her running around now because I am worried I will roll my chair back and knock her off and damage her. So we'll just park you up there. Oh, you are both gorgeous. I love me two new locos. They're fab. Ah, nice, very nice indeed. <laughs> oh, like oh. So there's something rattling around inside Bear. That's rattling is never a good sound on a model loco. I mean it's probably not a good sound on a full size loco either, but it's especially on a model loco. Oh dear. Anyway. Alright, to the desktop view. <laughs> Welcome back to uh the fictional railway map. Um I've made some changes. So if we come down to here. Um, I don't think the River Coombe was a thing uh, when I initially uh, did the map. Um, so I've, a I've added a river in uh, around Tipfield because, of course, you've got the river that the uh, train, unfortunately, has a demise in just there. Um, and then there's a stream uh, that they retrieve water from when uh, the loco runs out of water and the water tower's been... Um, sabotage, so the river flows off the map, comes back in and feeds into the River Scratch just before Mallingford. Um, the size of the towns and cities has changed as well. Mallingford's got a lot bigger, Merchester's got a lot bigger, Scratchwood shrunk a bit, Turing and Horton have shrunk a bit, and uh, Strawbridge was always tiny. And again, Titfield, I think, is still the same, and Midwell is still the same. Uh, so that has changed. Um, we have also added some other bits. Um, the River Barrett, uh, which came from down here, um, has now uh, originated at the waterfall because I thought to myself, hang on a minute, that makes more sense because there's a waterfall there, there would be a river. So there is now a river flowing from the waterfall because it makes sense. Uh, Strawbridge Quarry has had a little cliff added just to you know, flesh the map out a little bit. Um, the Turing Triangle has been made a lot smaller and has moved ever so slightly so uh, everything fits into the town of Turing quite nicely now um, and Turing has been shrunk because it's only little um, then we come up here we've got Horton uh, we've got Grand Darren's Canal that uh, I believe that was on the original iteration of the map uh, we've got Scratchwood Central Scratchwood has been shrunk somewhat and uh, we come to Scratchwood Junction there's been this little branch line added uh, to Torchwood 4 um, that's an in-joke because uh, when uh, Scratchwood was a thing that I did with friends from the UK Trains in forums, um, we had a running joke uh, that the signal signalman worked for Torchwood. 
<laughs> so that's a little reference to that. Torchwood 4, of course, from... As mentioned in Torchwood, it was, we'll find it again one day. Uh, well, this is where Torchwood 4 is. It's it's just outside of Scratchwood, just, and it's got its own little railway just tucked away. In my head, there's kind of a little gate just off the branch line, a bit like uh, at the Neen Valley, um, that stops trains coming in unless they're sort of permitted. And then you go in and then I sort of imagine there's a big cave and, you know, a big sort of hydraulic door over it and it's all very hush hush and secret and there's secret things in there and that's how they move things in and out yeah yeah Th these are the things that go on in my head when i when i'm not uh when when i'm when i'm alone um uh merchester i i th had a little think about merchester because merchester eastgate should be at the east of merchester that just makes sense in my head um i had a fiddle around with the stations um, but I couldn't get it to work, so Manchester Eastgate is just going to be in the southwest for reasons. I think it's on the west side of the layout anyway, in its in its current form, uh, at, at Dick's house. So, yeah, that's uh, that's just going to remain there now. Um, and then what else has changed? Uh, we've added a new town called Duckswell here. That this is just something I made up on the fly. Um, and I've added Bird Lines Manor Railway, uh, which is the seven and a quarter inch gauge railway I have helped to build. Um, so there's a station for Bird Lines Manor and there is a station called Matthews Mount. Because when I first went to Bird Lines, um, I was directed to park my car somewhere, turned around and completely missed a huge lump of concrete. Um, which uh, ended up under my car, ripped the radiator open, and I was just bottling out with my wheels spinning uselessly. Yeah, that was no, that was embarrassing. So um, the, they have nicknamed the part of the railway near where that happened Matthews Mount, and I have just rolled with it. Because <laughs> you've got to laugh, haven't you? Uh, so yes, Matthews Mount has its own station. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, yes, so that's the seven and a quarter inch gauge railway I've helped build, although not not an actual representation of it anyway. So we've got that. Uh, we've got the lines off to Leeds and to Crewe and this line off to Chester. Now the line to Chester used to sort of wiggle round like that. I've actually changed it somewhat to come down here because I realised there is a fictional railway that I have been inspired by that I've just completely forgotten about. In fact, I'm going to tweak the path of this a uh, smidge, just because I think it's 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 sort of in the wrong place. We want we want to follow the canal a bit more. I think so. Let's bring this down to here, and we'll bring this one down a bit as well, and over here a bit. Little wiggle here, and little wiggle here. In fact, I will get bring that down there like that there we go a little wiggle and you can just follow the canal and then that opens up this top section of the map because um in the 90s there was a sitcom on the bbc called oh dr beaching and that was set at a fictional railway station called hatley um and it, 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 I am ashamed frankly that i i didn't think of this when when i was first doing this um I need to add the branch line to Hatley because that's just the thing that needs to happen. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to we've we've moved the railway line around a bit, so the line off to Merchester Eastgate, blah blah blah, around here that follows the canal and goes off towards Chester. In my head, that is my story, and I am sticking to it. Although Chester is, I don't think we should go to Chester. I'm um, oh. I'm annoying myself now. Um, let's have a look on Google Maps and see what is to the west of sort of Crew. Uh, to the west, of, to the southwest of Crew. That's where we want to go. Um, right, yeah, because the, the railway sort of goes off towards Crew, and then there's another line that takes the railway off towards Leeds. Um, again, the geography doesn't make a lot of sense, but we'll we'll, we'll try and, and keep, keep things re reasonably re reasonably close to realistic geography as we can. Um, let's see, we've got Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury is quite a busy junction, isn't it? Let's have a look. Hold on. 
Just zooming in on Google Maps. In fact, let, let, me, let me drag Google Maps down and we can have a proper look at this. Um, so this is Shrewsbury, which is looking at, yes, it's a busy old bit of railway and it's still got an old fashioned signal box, which I really like. So, yeah. Yeah, do you know what? That's where that line's going to go. That line is going to go down to Shrewsbury. So let's uh, get, get rid of internet again. So we don't, we don't want that. So that is now the line to Shrewsbury. There we are. Just move that up a bit. Give it a little rotate as well, just to keep it in line with the track. There we go. Okay. So, paths. Uh, we are going to need paths. Right, go into the path menu. And let's open up our railway line again. And uh, I think, is it 15 the width? Hold on, let's, let's find out. Oh no, that's a bit too wide. Hold on, let's shrink that down. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Uh, hold on, a bit more. Was it 10? Hang on. Yeah, 10 looks about right. There we go. Okay, right. Get rid of that. Okay. So, what we can do, first of all, is draw that and then get rid of that because we don't want that. What we actually want is a symbol. And the symbol we want is for a city. Uh, no, we don't want a bridge. Br bridges are not, not what we're doing right now. Uh, so we want, and no, it's towns. Towns are what we want here. There we go. So we want a town. There we are. And we want to shrink this down to a smaller station because the stations we're going to be building here are not massive. Um, in fact, you know what? So, mm, uh, um, yeah, let's 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 go with the sort of larger sized station for this bit of the railway. Actually, yeah, yeah there you go. That's that's the kind of thing we want. There we are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, similar hundred, and then custom colors. Nope. Custom colors. Dropper. Grab that. There we are. Right. And then we're going to come down here, and what we're going to do is just over here heading back towards the canal we are going to put the slightly chonky town of Swinthorpe so let's pop a label in that is going to become Swinthorpe there we are All right nice so that's going to go there and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the line and then we're going to pop the towns and villages in bits and bobs and then Hatley's going to be sorted towards the edge of the map. Uh, right, okay. Right, let's draw our line. So we'll come out of Swinthorpe. Go over like this, there we are. And we're going to swing over to the north. It's a very wiggly little line, so let's try and. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm going to redo this because this 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 looks a mess to me. Okay, so that's that's a good starting point. Let's um, immediately change everything about it. Um, <laughs> Yes. Okay. Right. Let's. Um, yeah. Let's change everything because I. I hate it. Right. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Um, yeah. Get rid of all this. Okay. Get rid of all that. All of that. There we go. Right. And then let's try and change this up a bit because this is all dreadful. Okay. Little wiggle there. Slightly bigger wiggle there. Take out this bit because this, this oh no, not not quite like that. There we go. Get rid of all this because I, I I hate that big sweeping curve we just did. We don't need that. It's not necessary. 
and let's just straighten this out a bit. There we are, right. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to drag this over a bit. That back can go there. Delete that bit. Then just slightly less wiggle, but it's still a little wiggle. Okay. And then we'll go back to our symbols. And then we're going to move, take that, and we're going to move that aside temporarily. And then we're going to go back to our paths, and we're going to select this. And then we're going to make this line up with the railway a little better because I I hate hate what's what's going on here. There we go. Right. Okay. Here we go. Right. There we are. That's better. Okay. And then we take our symbols and select and drag that onto there. There we are. And that hides a multitude of sins, but not enough. So we're going to go back to the path and. Um, and amend this. Here we go. Right. I can live with it. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Right. Grab our symbol. Drop that back on there. Dump. There we are. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm going to take our symbols. And we're going to shrink them down. So they're, they're the size of the smaller places. There we go. Yeah, um, 80. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go 80. 80 seems good. Right, so. Um, actually, I'm not happy with that last straight bit. Let's just uh, do, do a slight wiggle just there, just to even things out. There we are. Oh, not that much of a wiggle. That feels excessive, actually. There we are. It's more like it. Okay, so. Symbols. Click. Right, so we've got Hatley. Uh, Nossington Bassett. Cold Horton. Uh, Bigglesby. And Austin in the World. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such lovely names on the on the railway in O'Doctor Beaching. Um, and then if we go to land, and we're going to grab our paintbrush, and we're going to paint some towns. We're going to paint some towns in. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I think it was that one. Uh, and we're going to do with this. And we're going to pop the brush head down re 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 reasonably small, about... That sort of thing. There we are. Swinthorpe, going to be quite a chunky town, but not too chunky. There we are. That'll do. Uh, Austin in the world, tiny place. Uh, uh, Biggles be a bit bigger. Uh, Coldhorn, tiny. Uh, and then as as we get over this way. Uh, we're going to start to get into the slight, slightly different situation. Let's just paint that out, actually. Hold on a second. Um, paintbrush. No, that's wrong. Um, no. Um, can't remember what the ground colour is. Hold on. Was it this? Let's say that, because it's close enough, and I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> uh, mm, that looks completely wrong. What was the damn... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's see. One second. Is that it? No. Um, I mean, I shoot, there are other colours. Hold on. Um, ah! What am I doing? I'm an idiot. There we are. Brush size. I think there are other bits that are a bit off colour wise as well. Oh, no. Hold on. Right. Uh, Proper. There we go. And doof. Like that. There we are. Remove. Name colour. 
um, base color. There we are, right. That's better. That looks a bit tidier. Oop. I swear there are other bits of the map that don't look very neat because I've painted them in wrong, but I can't see them wrong. Ah, here we are, around Scratchwood. That was it. Just tidy Scratchwood up a bit. Like, so, there we are. Nice. It's a bit neater. Were there any more? Might have been some down here. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Right. Um, we're going we're gonna to have to redo our towns there, but that's fine. Uh, right. Brush size down. Okay. And then, right. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking, Hatley is, is, is sort of a bit far from its station it's one, one of these where the, the the station is nowhere near the town so uh that that's hadley there we are uh, and then nottington bassett kind of the same uh cold horton little town like that there we go biglesby again town a little bit further away let's let's actually Get rid of that. No. Oh no. It's wrong again. Change colour. That's the one. That's better. Um, and. There we go. Okay. Austin in the world again. Tiny little place. And then Swinthorpe in the middle. Right, now we've got to name them all. Um, all right. Uh, fictional railway stations. Here we are. All right. Oh, here we are. Right. Right. We're just going to copy and paste from the Wikipedia. Uh, because that's that's how how I roll these days, right? So uh, no, Swin thought we've already done. Uh, that's Austin in the world. There we go, and then Beatles beat down here Beagles B nice uh, Cold Horton Nossington Bassett. Uh, behave yourselves. Nossington Bassett. It'll be like that. Uh, just there. There we go. Cold Horton. Down here. I'm thinking Biggles B should really be up above, shouldn't it? What do we think? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking Biggles B there, Nossington Bassett there, and finally, Halley, which can chill just there. No, 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 no. Halley down there. It. And then we need another label. And then this one goes to and
rotate and have I done it down here to Quainton Road and there we go like that that's better there we are to Buston and Wenstead um, yeah yeah there we are nice um, and I'll tell you what else I'm going to do um, because um, it's based on the Seven Valley. This needs to have a river. So there's going to be a river. I, d I, don't, I don't even care. There's going to be a river. <laughs> I don't care what you think. <laughs> okay. So uh, our river's going to be quite wide. Um, it's not going to meander too much because I, I, I tend to do the meandering myself. So river flows over this way. Hold on. <sighs> Balls. I, I did the label wrong. Hang on a second. All right, let's get rid of that. Boosh. Gone. Dead. Uh, that one. Here we are. Rotate. Here we are. Right. And then, right. Back to the water. Save. And then our river is going to come from here. Right, turn off the river source fade in because that's not necessary. Here we go. Right, a little bit of a wiggle here. A wiggle down here. Oh, turn off the meandering. Try again. Right. We go around here. Okay. Right. Put the width up a little. Down here. way there what should we call this river um, I feel I feel like we need to do something that uh, pays a little tribute to uh, the rivers the river seven uh, but I'm not sure what any thoughts but I quite like that just a little river flowing off that way there we are nice and in my head that feeds into the river scratch as well but we need we need a name for the river any, any thoughts on river names um, let's see what was the I forget what we used for that one was it no. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 Don't remember. Um, let's see. Hold on a minute. Easy way to find out. Frederick of the Great. That's what it was. There we are. Okay. Yeah, it looks more like it. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, font size down to 10. Uh, and this will become the river. Any thoughts on river names, people? I'm all ears. I'm not not all ears. So at least part of me is, uh, is, is person. So. <laughs> um, mm, what do we think?
Um, something to do with the River Severn, or the Severn Valley, or somewhere around that. Uh, can we... Trent. <laughs> Pretty sure that's an actual river. Um, hmm. I've got it. The uh, the series I dropped to Beeching was filmed at Arley. So this is going to be the River Arley uh, for the purposes of my own amusement. Here we are. So there we are. The River Arley. I'll do a couple more labels like that over here as well. Slightly less curvature on that bit. There we are. Nice. Okay. Nice. And then we'll do one. Um. Yeah. One up there. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Hello, Fuse. Nice to see you. Um, um, pop the couch down a smidge. There we are. Nice. And then actually, I'm going to move that one there because I think that's in very much the wrong place. Let's put that there, actually. And then reduce the curvature a smidge, give it a little rotate. And yeah, the seven deadly rivers. <laughs> oh. A bit more of a curve there. There we go. Just tuck, tuck that in like that. River Arley, River Arley, River Arley. Have I spelled Arley right? Hold on. Uh. Stalling for time. Yes, yes, I have. I have spelled Arley right. Nice. Um, that's filled the map out nicely, I think. Um, the only issue is um, this area still looks a bit blank. I feel I need to put a little something here. Maybe, maybe some hills or something. Let's see. Yeah, hill. No. Um, see ah that's because because i'm not looking at the geography that's why i'm an idiot uh here we go right Let's see here we are a hill there and another hill there and uh, another, that's more of a mountain. Uh, let's try uh, another hill there. And a bit more of a hill there. And I think that's, that's again more of a mountain, but we'll roll with it. Uh, again, more of a mountain there. Um, actually, yeah, let's go with that one and then we'll get rid of that one because that that doesn't really match. Um, move a bit, put that there, put that in the middle. There we are. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. I like this. I think this looks quite good. Um, tempted to add some trees. Um, just. Dotted about the place. Uh, placement density lower than that. Uh, no, it's still, still too much lower. That's more like it. There we are. Okay, so we'll get rid of that lot. And some trees about the place. There we are. And scratch wouldn't need to have trees because it's a wood. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah, I've got some trees around there. Yeah, nice. 
maybe, maybe, maybe not do trees around the labels because that that makes life extremely difficult indeed. Just cluster the trees a bit more around scratch wood. There we are. Nice. Do some trees here. There we go. Nice. Do more trees here. Trees around here. Do 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 do. Not too many trees. Just a few trees. I like that. I've just noticed the bit around Turing looks uh, a bit weird as well. So let's uh, go back to land and grab a hold of our paintbrush and our base colour and change that to a circle. Up brush size and then just... Uh... In fact, I've not, I've not been happy with how Turing looks. So let's paint, paint that out entirely um, and we will redo Turing. Uh, building brush size right down. There we go. Um, a bit smaller, about that sort of size, maybe. Just yeah, but also no. Um, <laughs> we'll just uh, feather it slightly like that. There we go. Just. My, my, my feeling is the railway sort of runs along the edge of the town and then sort of into the town there and then again that one yeah yeah i like that what do we think of the map folks i'm i'm quite pleased with the map i gotta say i think the map looks rather nice um let's take out a few trees because i'm not entirely happy with the placement of some of these There we are, nice. Uh, and then just thin, thin out the ones up here a little, because it feels like there's too many up here. Here we go, just thin them out a smidge. Just move move things around slightly. Make, make things look a little bit less uh, busy on that section. Again, this 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 feels like too many trees. This this is not what I would call a heavily wooded area, so we'll just move, move things around a smidge. There we are. That's better. There we are. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That looks quite nice. You've got the wood there for scratch wood. Uh, let me move a couple of these trees around a smidge. And just go for that and there. Yeah, just try and make the placement look a little more random. Some trees there. Nice. There we go. That's too much of a straight line. So I'll just pop that off kilter like that. There we go. If I'll move that one down there. Pop that one over there. Um, and then maybe grab one of these ones just suddenly looks a bit better yeah to get grab that one put that in there there we go nice and then that can move down there that can move across a bit yeah i'm get i'm getting a bit uh, much with the tree placement now i agree um but i like it so shut up <laughs> ah. uh, the name of the hill should be mount we've got matthew's mount over here that, that exists it is looking quite good i'm pleased with this it looks great um that castle is now the wrong colour, I notice. Um, I am gonna amend that, one second. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, go into symbols, and one of these, and find me a castle of some description, or some manner of nice building, uh, that is gonna sit there and become uh, the Manchester symbol. There was a nice little sort of castle keep uh, that I was using for that. I've lost it. Um, if I search for castle, let's see what comes up. Um, that was it. There we are. Right. So we need to shrink that down a bit. There we are. A little smaller. And then 
Bosch. Done. Nice. Okay. How am I? I'm doing good, Sec. I'm doing good. I'm sorry to hear you're not doing so good. Uh, there we go. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I, d I do worry there's too many trees. What do we think? Is, is, is it looking maybe a bit too busy now? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do like the map in, in, in general. I think it looks really nice. I really like that. Wonder Draft is currently busy. Okay. Um, is there a way of scaling up? Is what is is one thing I wanted to know. Um, just because it's this it's 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 kind of hard to read at the kind of one hundred percent mark. There's there's little bits that look a bit off. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to fret too much, but. Fine, yeah. Uh, menu, change map size, uh, scale map. Uh, what's 4K? Hold on. Let's give it a go. Uh, 3, 3840 by uh, 2160. Scale map on. Cannot be undone. Okay, well. Let's save it and then um, also save it as a backup, um, just in just in case uh, this goes pear shaped. Okay, here we go. Uh, create detail map. Um, oh, oh, there's all sorts of fancy things here. Okay, change map size. Uh, let's up the resolution to three eight forty. By 2160. Click OK, and then see what happens. <laughs> I could be about to break this entirely. Um, let's see here. Um, I mean, it's not entirely broken. Um, every, everything's just gotten a bit smaller. Um, could just up up the size of the railways again. That's that's no biggie. Um, I don't hate it. I don't. It's um. Yeah, it, it's just a bit easier to read, possibly. Um, let's uh, up the width of the railway if we can. Um, Uh, let's see. Do 15? Yeah, 15. Exciting. Here we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Fifteen. Fifteen. There we go. We'll worry about the narrow gauge lines in a minute. Uh, Fifteen. 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 Now I'm thinking if we up them to nope. Try again. Uh, if we up that to say seven point five. No. Nope. Try again. Seven point 
Ah, behave yourself. <laughs> Seven point five, and then. Um. Eleven. Yeah, let's go eleven for the narrow gauge. Okay, so that becomes eleven. No. That becomes eleven. There you go. No. And that one becomes eleven. And the triangle becomes eleven. Come on, behave yourself. There we go, right. Okay, and that one. Now let's go 10, actually, for the narrow gauge. Let's go 10. Ten is enough. There we are. There we are. That's ten. I appear to do the same. Call that ten. And then over at bird lines we'll do the same too. Call that ten. There we are. Nice. I'm liking this. I'm very happy. I think this looks pretty damn good. Solid. I'm not entirely happy with some of the symbol placements up here, so I'm just going to fiddle with those a bit. Cold Hawk needs to come down a bit. Bigglesby's fine. Austin in the World's fine. Nottington Bassett uh, can go there on the corner. Hatley, I'm reasonably happy with, although I might. Um. Because there was a little bit of a wiggle in line um, coming out of Hatley, I might put that there and then move that label to somewhere else. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, move the label down here. Find the path tool again. Hold on a second. There we go. That there, like that. There we are. And a little wiggle like that. There we are. And then, like that, yeah. And if we go to the symbols tab again, grab that, move that bit further that way. There we go. Grab the label. Hatley up to here. Yeah, let's go there. Because then we can move the River Ali one a smidge. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So then Hatley's off to one side. Nottington Bassett, I'm going to do the same. Move that to the side. Cold Horn can stay where it is. Bigglesby could do with moving, I think. Yeah, let's move Bigglesby to... About there. Yeah, there you go. And then Austin in the Wold will ring down as well. Uh, we could make Austin in the world slightly smaller. Um, let's go 40 for Austin in the world. Uh, actually. Um, oh no, 40, 40 is about right. Um, uh, what are we thinking here? Get rid of that label, we don't want that. Um, I 
I might move the river. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, let's... Hang on a minute. I'm going to raise this bit of the river here. There we go. Down to there. Right. And then come into here. And then... Just, no. Hold on. It needs to be a lot wider than that. About 14. We just loaded one net. There we are. Okay. Turn off the roughness. That's better. There we are. And go to our labels again. Grab the referrali and just a little adjustment. There you go. Nice. Yeah. That's better. That that looks a lot clearer now. That's that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Um Horton could do with just moving a smidge. Yeah, I'll scratch with central's fine, scratch with junction. Down there we go. Tortured's fine. To quite in London, Marlborough. Um, I'm not happy with this placement of Buston and Wenstead. Although that could just be because there's a hill right there. If I move the hill, yeah, that's an improvement. Um, if we go to like that, there we go. And just wiggle you up slightly. Yeah, I'm slightly happy with that. And then if we go to land. What I'm going to do is I'm going to redo Hatley, I've decided. Let's paint that out. Go to building. And then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. That's nice. Okay. I'm really pleased with that. I think that looks rather terrific. Let's export that. Uh, as a JPEG. 100% quality. Click OK. And then save that as version 3. Nice. Yeah, do you know what? All told, I'm pleased with that as an arrangement. Although I have just spotted a couple of little problems. Um, like this one here, for example. Let's just take care of that before we, before we move on. Uh, just... points it's better it's okay it's fine uh, this one could do with just just m m moving the t tiniest amount really just 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 That's better. Uh, what about the other junctions? How's this looking? Um, that could do with a little change. Just a slight one. Just, just, just a teeny bit there. They are nice. And then, same down this end. Just to just neaten up the junctions a little because they're they're just looking a bit iffy in places. There we are. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one. That one. Um, oh, behave! Come on. No. There we are. That's the one. Okay. And then just there, like that. And then that one's fine. It's okay. Uh, uh, Swinthorpe's fine. Uh, these look fine. Yeah. Uh, Strawbridge Quarry could do with a little change. Just a just a smidge, just to line up a bit more. There we go, nice. Uh, how is Titfield looking? Uh, the colliery looks okay. Um, I just change it just a smidge, just to just to line it up a bit better, like so. Yeah, that's better. 
Uh, oh, or is it? No, I'm not so sure actually. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's try. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking that. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's the stuff. There you go. Right. Uh, that one's fine. That all looks good. This all looks good. Um, just uh, try and smooth this line out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, Magister Ecoscape's fine, that'll do. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's try exporting that again. Just save the image. Version 3. There. Yeah. It's a bit busy, but it looks great. looks a lot better. Good night, Dalek Sec. Thank you. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure. <sighs> Still exporting. Still exporting. Have you crashed? Please don't crash. Oh, no, there we go. That's done. Amazing. I'm really happy with that. I think it looks great. Um, I may thin out the trees a bit more, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Still not done. Still not happy. Hold on. <laughs> Just a minute. Let's... Just thin out the trees just a little bit so it looks a bit less busy around this bit looks a bit better thin these out a little as well there you go don't, don't, I don't want straight lines if I can possibly avoid it just want to break up things a little bit there we are Um, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling that. Um, take that, pop that one there. There we are, nice. Pop that one there. No, no, that can, that, that can stay where it was, actually. That's fine. There we go. Great. Put one in there. No, hang on. Let's, let's, let's do this properly. There we go. Nice, nice. There we are. Yeah, just a little one there just to break that bit up as well. Nice, okay. Well, I'm very pleased. I think that looks terrific. That is really, really nice. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed with that. That, that is genuinely quite special. Okay, right. Last time. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Let's export this thing. Nice. My kit built locomotive. Um, I don't think I've got a kit built one. Um, oh, this this Quainton, the little diesel shunter. Hang on, let me uh, let me just grab that one second. Um, let's uh, close that off. There we go. Nice. Then we'll drag X split back down. Sorry. Hold on. Just just dealing with the technical side of things. Won't be a second. There we are. Right. Um, yeah, Quainton 
yeah, quite in his manual. Um, I think the battery isn't quite in a flat at the moment. Yeah, if you look just in inside the cab there, you can see kind of a little battery compartment. There's this black bit just here. That's got a little just uh, on-off switch on it. Um, so yeah, that is that is manual. I have got a loco remote kit, um, which I'm going to use for my uh, little trailian dingle kind of like maintenance uh, vehicle uh, kit when I eventually get around to building that. I must do that at some point because it's um, it's, beca it's becoming ever so slightly tedious um, not doing anything for the garden railway. <laughs> but um, mm. yeah, the garden railway had a bit of a, a bit of a spruce up actually. Um, over the weekend, uh, I had my parents over, so we tidied up the garden. One of the jobs I did was uh, sort the track out, clean clean the grit out the points and oil them and, uh, yeah, just make everything genuine, generally ready for running things. Um, so I'm, I might take Silver Lady out for a play over the weekend. I'll see what the weather's doing. Um, but, yeah, yeah. I should do more stuff for the Garden Railway because I've, I've got a couple of kits that I haven't done anything with for... Absolutely ages. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Well, I'm happy with how tonight's gone. I'm, I'm genuinely quite pleased. I think it's been a nice little stream, this. Um, shall we have a little look at uh, Hardwick before we wrap up? There we go. Oh. The camera appears to have frozen, which is not what you want to see. Hold on a minute. Let's just... Uh, We'll just turn the phone camera off for a second. Just, just have a look at Bear for a moment, folks. We'll be right back. Um, hold on. Let me see what's going on here. I think my phone has died. That's why. Yeah, the battery's dead. <laughs> okay, we we won't we won't look at Hardwick again then. In fact, no, we will. We will. We'll, uh, we'll fetch we'll fetch her up from the uh, from the trap as she comes around. Here we go. <laughs> right. Dear, oh dear. Right. Let's uh, pop you down there. There we are. Like that. There we go. So, yeah. Those, those are the two locos that I purchased at the London Festival of Railway Modelling this week. And, yeah, I like that. It's ah oh, there we go right sorry just uh, plugged the phone into charge because it it has gone completely dead which is not what you want to see so yeah no worries that's fine I should have charged it properly to begin with that's on me my bad whoops <laughs> oh dear never mind all good anyway. <sighs> right, I'm going to wrap this up, I think. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this stream. I'm not sure what next week's show is going to be yet. Um, but quite excitingly, the show after that is going to be my 100th episode of Streaming Wednesdays, or Streaming Tuesdays, or 100 episodes of weekly live streams. So I need to think of something special to do for that. So if you guys have any ideas, um, let me know. Dro drop me a line on Discord. I'll, I'll share the Discord server. Again, because we haven't shared that for a little while. Um, but yes, um, let me know what you think about... I can't show you the Discord link because it's got still 14 updates. <laughs> God's sake. Okay, well, let me know what you think about um, things we could do for the 100th episode. Uh, because I, I, I enjoy doing these weekly streams very much. It would be nice to commemorate 100 episodes of streaming Tuesdays slash Wednesdays. <laughs> Because it's, yeah, I enjoy these immensely. And it's it's nice. Yeah. Stuff and things and stuff. I'm very tired. I've worn myself out this week. It's fine. It's all good. Ah, <sighs> Right. Thanks for coming, everybody. I will see you next week uh, doing something to be announced. Whatever that will be. It looks like Discord's starting, actually. So I will drop the link into the YouTube chat. 
um, as the credits play. So if you're not already in the Discord server, uh, you you can do that thing because it's it's yeah, join the server. It's it's we chat, we do stuff. It's it's quite good fun. I I enjoy it anyway. So yeah, anyway, let's pick that up and come on. No, not like that. Where is the, there we go, invite people uh, in, there we go, right, invite link, uh, expire, never, generate new link, copy, there we go, right, that is going in the chat room now, there you go, that's the Discord server, if you fancy coming and chatting with me or with other people who like my content, um, go join the Matter of Productions Discord server. It's a lot of fun and exciting. Um, we chat about random nonsense. It's good fun. Uh, what did I do for the first episode? Maybe do that again as a trip down. I think I played The Outer Wilds. We can always play The Outer Wilds again. Uh, which, although that 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 feels a bit like a cop out, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a Dalek plays The Outer Wilds. Oh, oh, that's got potential. Ooh. I'll have a think. But yeah, if you have any ideas for the 100th episode, drop drop them in the Discord server. It'd be, be, be great to hear from you guys and uh, see what your thoughts are. And let me know sort of what your favourite type of live stream is or if there's a particular live stream I've done you particularly enjoyed because it would be nice to talk about that at some point as well. Yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for coming, everybody. I will see you next week. Bye!